Hello. The next topic is here. I'm going to discuss with you the more fundamental things. Angular mm -hmm. momentum. That is the general formalism of angular momentum. So we know already discuss about angular momentum operators and basic. So, you know, LX, <coughs> LY, the computation relations are the, this one is IH class, LZ, right? And uh, this one, LY, comma, LZ, this way. L Y L Z equal to I H plus L X L Z comma L X equal to I H cross L Y. So these uh, relations uh, we are going to call the fundamental computational relations for angular momentum. So here I am going to give one important information about this notation. So these notations were uh, are derived by the experiencing the orbital angular momentum in position representation right but uh, these operators are relations they must be valid in any representation so here i'm going to give the these uh, fundamental uh, relations for the orbital angle so more general generalization form and formation of a thermometer form here i'm introducing one important uh, um, operator, angular momentum operators. A. Okay. So this J also. Uh, defined by the three components like uh, so lx so l component l we define the uh, lx ly lz right like j also we can define the different type of components uh, jx jy comma jz These are also follow the same computation relations jx jy jx jy equal to ih class jz jy jz equal to ih cross jx and uh, jx or jz jx equal to ih cross j okay here more we can write these relations like this j cross j equal to ih cross j okay some more fundamental relation of the angular momentum operators since jx and jy and jz do not mutually commit they cannot be simultaneously diagonalized that is they do not possess common eigenstate okay so better to write this word here jx 
mutually commit they cannot be simultaneously diagonal Right. And they do not possess the and uh, they do not possess common eigenstates. Please remember this very, very important. The square of uh, angular momentum can be expressed in generalized form. So j square like this, it means j x square plus j y square plus j z square. So the commutation relations of this uh, j x and the j y plus j square is commit with the uh, and the components jx so which means that is equal to zero so and uh, so we can prove this one so j square J square Jx going to prove this computation relation. So J plus Jy square plus Jz square comma Jx right. Okay. Then you can write this one Jx square. x plus j y square comma j x plus j z square comma j x so if we extend this thing Plus JX, JX, JX. So this term is split into these two terms. Plus, and this one also JY bracket JY comma JX plus JY JX into JY. As this JZ JZ comma JX. As finally, we can write JZ comma JX into JX. So therefore this thing is zero, right? Then remaining term j y this one is i h cross j z plus minus i h cross j z j y 
plus j z i h cross j y s i h cross j y into j y so that equal to the zero because here the j square j x term is zero right all right and uh, you can try this j y and uh, j x equal to minus i h cross j z j z comma j x equal to i h cross j y So here the jx, jy, and jz, and j square also. These are all operators or Hermitian operators. And uh, their eigen values are real. So this is the um, general formalism of our aspect momentum. So in this course, I am going to use uh, this general formalism uh, Lx, Ly component. Uh, and also Sx, Sy also. So we know from atomic markers spectroscopy, J is equal to L plus S, right? So this one we can call that a total angular momentum of the system, and this is the orbital angular of the system, in angular momentum of the system. So for generalizing purpose, in this course, I'm going to use this notation. Most of the case I'm using here the, these two notations, uh, Jx and Jy, and Sx and Sy notation. Okay, these are all notations follow the same fundamental principle. Relations and the computation relations are same, and their properties are also the same. Okay. The next class I'm going to discuss uh, a very important topic. Once we understand this thing, we are going to discuss more complicated problems like eigenvalues and eigenvalues for JZ, J square, in house systems, visionary cut theorem. So you try to follow these fundamental computation equation, the ladder, ladder operators and their properties. Okay. By using these properties, we are going to calculate some difficulty. These are all helpful in to solve the in house systems, heterogeneous problems, the harmonic cosmetic problems. Thank you.